Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today I have another viewer request. We are going to go over the Launcher Pro application, which actually is a screen modification for the the dock and the the dashboard, and it it is uh, quite a nice uh, refreshing look. Um, and uh, you can already see quite a bit of the change. So a couple things to note. Launcher Pro is not a honeycomb application. Therefore, you cannot download it from the marketplace. So um, I have a link towards the um, bottom in the comments um, or in the text on my blog. Go to that link on your honeycomb device and it will download it. You can also go to this link on the phone. This is a great phone app, but you can also download it right from the marketplace. And then in the settings, um, in order to install it, you need to have unknown sources checked off. So for those who do not know what that means, go to Settings, Application, Unknown Sources, check that off. And that's how you're able to install applications that are not on the marketplace. And so it actually provides a really, really, really neat um, interface. I've, I'm still indecisive on if I prefer one over the other. It definitely gives you more real estate. You can see that I can you know move the widgets and put the icons directly to the edge of the screen. One of the really cool things that I like is this this ability of this this toolbar that usually on your phone you know you hold it and it'll be on the bottom or on the side if you move into landscape. And it just it's just a nice thumb um, navigation when you're holding the the uh, zoom or your honeycomb tablet in uh, landscape mode and you're able to you know quickly hit your applications from your thumb or you can customize basically this dock to do any application and load it quickly it's it's really really nice and it's a it's a it's a fantastic way to um, quickly do your favorite applications right with your thumb right within hands reach it's it's fantastic and I think that's one of the best parts about this dock it really really takes advantage of using your thumbs to navigate on this on these sides another cool thing about launcher pro is resizable widgets now you have to purchase this feature there's a couple features that come with it but I think this is the most outstanding um, feature that comes with launcher pro if you purchase it um, it's two ninety nine, and it's and it's uh, one of the so. Let's take a look at these expanded widgets. As you can see, normally, and I'll go to a blank slate. If we were to add a widget for email, um, and here we go. Let's let's add the widget. It will come up, and there you go. Very very small. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Yeah, you have two email links. Okay, so how can we make it better? Let's make it better. So what you do is you hold down on the widget towards the top, and then all of a sudden goes into this resize mode. So what you do is you take, and you can then drag it to the right or to the left to fill out the screen to your desired size. And then there you go. All of a sudden you have more real estate to look at your mail, and... Um, and it, it actually fills in more email at the bottom or to the right and then you can't the way to deactivate it or I'm the way that I'm making it auto unfocus on the scrolling is pressing the home button and there you go you have this nice wonderful widget you can now drag it around in the resize and um, you can you can actually control how much you want it to take up on the real estate so you can see on my home page now I really take advantage of the email, really take advantage of the calendar and the tasks and I'm able to navigate with my two thumbs and quickly select mail and then also quickly select the apps that are my favorite apps. One of the cool things on the um, dock side is you actually can switch to having multiple docks. Sort of like having multiple dashboards. But wherever you go, you all have always have access to your favorite apps on the dock side with quick access with your thumbs. So I really, really, really like that. 
So overall, it is a uh, it is a is a welcome addition, and kind of the irony of the whole thing is it's not even for honeycomb. This is the exact same functionality that you would get on your phone. Now that doesn't mean that Launcher Pro is not coming out with a honeycomb version. So I'm really really looking forward to that honeycomb version and to be able to try it out. So let's look at some of the honeycomb specific widgets and how they interact. You can see these two are actually Launcher Pro widgets. So this is a kind of a picture bookmark and it was very cool on the phone and I think the honeycomb widget actually does a better job um, and actually kind of makes that not as cool as it was on the phone. And this is another form of uh, icon uh, widgets. Um, you can also see that you can re resize these uh, like images slideshow type deal. Um, so same thing, hold it down, stretch it out, and it's not it doesn't do the prettiest thing, but it, you know it does a decent job. You can't like select one of the slideshows in the back. You have to still pan through and select, but you know you can resize it to your liking. It's it's cool, but it doesn't really fully take advantage of it yet. But as you'll see, I'll, I'll and I'll go to my separate doc to show you how how this widget works. So we'll go in, and now we're going to add the bookmark widget. And so there you go. This is this is what you get on your your honeycomb experience, and it's pretty nice, but. One of the things that I always didn't like is you only see four, and I, you know, you have this nice, beautiful screen. Why not take advantage of it? So with the Launcher Pro Plus, with the 299 edition, you have this resizable widget. So let's, and you can fully take advantage. Move it to the right. It kind of stretches it out a little, and you know, you can move it to your preference. Personally, I'm a big fan of just having it fully take up your screen and but you can see you stretch it out it still fills up the screen and you're able to pan through and select your websites and it just works fantastic addition so there's a couple other things that the plus um, adds so there's there's a uh, launcher Pl pro plus widgets that you have access to um, and so again this was catered towards the phone so things like people and friends are not and messaging aren't aren't really there but I'll show you the uh, the Twitter app I've already you shown you the bookmarks and then the also the calendar so you, you have a couple choices on how you want to view the calendar um, We'll just select one, and then there you go. Here's the calendar. Pull it out, select it, stretch it to how we want it. Nice little calendar. Go into list mode to see our appointments, and this is, it's actually pretty fantastic. And I'll probably end up switching the uh, the widget for this one the default honeycomb widget for this one because it's a nice way to quickly switch between this calendar and see what's going on that day into the actual occurrences versus um oh and this is another cool feature if you press home you it will pan out and show you all of your screens and then you can quickly go to one so that's pretty cool so as you can see it's so so far it, it it's adding and enhancing honeycomb um, you, you kind of lose some of the the honeycomb feeling but it, it it does add some some new flavor it's adds some flexibility some good management with navigation and um, really takes advantage of thumb navigation and then here's the Twitter the Twitter uh, app our widget that comes with it and you can see instead of having the default one panning through if you were to expand this widget, not all widgets like expand and you're able to see new feeds. It's really up to the person who made the widget. So for instance, if this one was to be expanded, locked up. Well, 
you can take take my word for it then. If this one was to be expanded, it would still um, only show this one feed. Whereas here, you can fully see many, many feeds and tweets. And, and so it's a, it's a really nice addition. Negativity. Um, I have no complaints so far. It doesn't seem to slow down at all. It does take a while to set it up. So have some spare time. Um, it costs two ninety nine, but I, I think that that price is more than um, worth it to have the the expanding widget options. Um, you can see I have folders, so you can quickly go to your folders. You can look at your downloads. Um, this is uh, using Astro, um, which is phenomenal. Definitely get Astro and take care of uh, folders. It almost feels like a um, a PC like interface I know or you know a desktop experience but enhanced for kind of a touch mode because you just have all these fully interactive it's not just icons there's you know your your mail your calendars your Twitter your Facebook you know quick navigation through you know this UI it's 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 quite phenomenal so definitely I recommend checking it out. Try it at least. Um, you you'll be able to try everything for the most part except Twitter bookmarks. So here, let me show you. You can't. You won't be able to launch Launcher Pro bookmarks. You have to pay two ninety nine for it. Also, you won't be able to resize. You have to pay two ninety nine for that. But Again, if you go to the Launcher Pro link that I'll have within the text um, with this video, you um, will be able to download a free version where you can have this interface take advantage of the full screen and kind of have this quick pick uh, application um, navigation. It's, it's worth a try. So... I hope you enjoyed this overview of Launcher Pro. Please uh, keep on the lookout and I will announce, of course, as well and do an overview of the tablet version, which is, is I think it's going to be fantastic because this phone version actually works quite well itself. Um, for any viewers that actually want to see it in portrait mode, you know what, let's do that real quick. Let me zoom out for you. I don't think it's I don't think it's as great in portrait mode. Um, it, it it feels too much like a large phone, and um, not not as manageable. However, um, you know you still got the quick picks on the bottom. It doesn't look as pretty. It kind of looks spread out on the UI. But you know I think this is one of the things that the Honeycomb Launcher Pro is going to fix. It's going to make this more usable and accessible. So, if you like this, please um, like it. Um, if you don't follow, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I do daily video updates, even on paid apps like this one, so you can see it before you buy it. Thank you so much, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Have a great day.